It would, I'm pretty sure everyone loves to see the food in your mouth. That's awesome. And <laughs> I like basketball. You like basketball? What's going on in basketball? I'm on a team, so that's good. Dude, stop putting food in your mouth for a second. <laughs> I really like these guys. Kenya's on a Bantam team. It's uh, kind of like a junior high school team for the high school that she'll be going to. And next year, she'll go to try out officially for the high school team because she'll be in ninth grade. So what position do you play? Post and center. Post and center. All right, Justine. Give us an update for you. So I've got a new job now. What I do is I work for Airborne, Alcatraz, and Labyrinth Reality Games. So I just set up their corporate events. Um, I just get businesses in there to do their team building events, their sales kickoffs, kind of anything to do with like a private event with all of their, they've got two locations. So I just kind of do it for all of them. How do you like that? Cause last time we were vlogging, you were selling cars. So that's mm -hmm. a big difference. Yeah, it is a big difference. I mean, I love it. It's definitely a lot of fun. I guess I guess it's still sales, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's still sales. What else is new with you? Well, this thing right there. Give, it, give us a close. We'll see. All right. It's pretty. It's like rose gold. Mm -hmm. So we're uh, getting married March 7th. Are you guys get married, getting married here locally? Uh, so we're doing it in St. George. That's kind of where uh, we lived for a little while. So want to go back. I'm kind of obsessed with the Red Rocks there. So figured why not do it in one of my favorite places that's not super far. It's close enough for everyone to travel to. Lots more to come with Justine, especially with all the wedding plans. They're uh, getting ready to do their engagement photos and we will vlog that and put it up for you. So lots of big plans coming for you and Zach. Yep. Thanks for the update. What's new with you? I hold my shoes. I'm taping them. Why are you wearing my shoes? Those are like way old shoes. These shoes are dope. Oh my god. Yep. <gasps> Why don't you wear your nicer shoes? You have newer shoes than that. Because I like geese. Okay, but you're having to take... They match my outfit. They match your outfit. Okay. Did you just change your clothes or did you wear that today? What's the best pilot? All right, Caleb. What's new with you since we last vlogged? I play basketball. Thank you. You had a birthday too, so how old are you now? Okay. Eleven. And I, uh, I play basketball. Got, you got a new bedroom? Yeah. Your your bedroom companion moved out, huh? Yeah. What else is new with you? What grade are you in now? Fifth. Fifth? You're working on your science project, your fifth grade science project right now? Yeah. You are safety patrol at school? Mm -hmm. What position do you play? Oh. All right, Kyla. Give us your update. All right, so, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, um, I second. I'll eat it. You did not. So, I'm proud. I'm an adult now. <laughs> she finally turned 18. Yes. So, she's a senior in high school. I'm a senior in high school. <laughs> um, but are you involved in ball right now? Got a job, then quit. These kids are gross. What was your job? A daycare. Yeah. What was your funnest thing at your daycare? Um, I don't know funnest, but like my favorite. Baby. <laughs> What's your grossest? Oh, this girl has bloody nose, and I had to like stop it from getting her on the floor. So I had to cast the blood. Ew. Yeah, that's gross. Yeah, yeah that's gross. Hopefully you wear gloves. No. Yeah. I still like popcorn. It's going strong. She learned yeah. hockey this year. Oh, I am yeah. hockey. I'm a hockey player. Yeah. I play hockey now. Not really. Alright, are you planning to go on to college? Um, I don't want to, but I probably should. <laughs> Looking like a true so, adult. Probably in like the 
fall, I'll go to college or winter. Or maybe Are, next summer. Are you in line to graduate? Let's yes. maybe talk about that. My grades are golden right now. Nice. How about last quarter? Oh. Pretty good. <laughs> Barely sliding by. Better this quarter. Better. Boyfriend, love life. for Christmas, a bubble tube. It helps him to sleep. Does Do you think it's working? Is it helping you to sleep better? All right, we'll shut it off for the noise. Okay, what else is new with you? Oh, she got a pet rhino. A pet rhino. Okay, and what what's your pet's rhino's name? Leo. Leo. Here's Leo. Ammon loves rhinoceroses right now. So he wanted to decorate his room in rhinoceros. Oh, so that's another update. Right? Mm -hmm. What's the update? Change my room. Change his room. We separated him and Caleb to see if they would do better at keeping their room clean and and then sleeping at nights because they literally just play and then getting ready in the morning. They do not get ready or hustle or anything. So we have lots of problems in the morning. So has it been going better? Yep. Yeah. Do you feel like you're getting better sleep? No. No, because now you stay up reading all night long, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so this is, you can hear Caleb upstairs. If you hear that pounding, that's him playing basketball in his room. So here's Ammon's room, another rhinoceros. And we actually have some really cute black and white photos that of African animals that we still have to put up on that wall. 
He got a new little cave seat. Hi, uh -huh, Ammon. You gonna eat that whole bag of popcorn, man? Mm -hmm. Oof. You must have had a busy day at school today. So this is his little seat that we put in here. Kind of gives him the sense of being all closed in and when he's having sensory things, this is a good seat for him to come sit in. Okay, Jackson, what's going on with you? I work at Krispy Kreme now. Um, I do drive through and up front. Do you like working there? Yep. Um, I placed ninth at state champs this year for mountain biking. Good. State champs was in yeah St. George, Utah. I raced against 607 kids total. Took ninth. Yeah, we were excited about that. He did really well. I built a bike this year. Do you have it down here? It's over by Death's fish room. I'm hanging out with friends a lot more instead of being conservative. Conservative. <laughs> He, he was pretty shut down with the world. He spent a lot of time in his room, and he's kind of taken some big steps to open up and be more social and put himself out there and be vulnerable with people. So he's made a lot of growth and headway, and we've been really excited to see these big things happen in Jackson's life. Where are you in? I'm in 11th grade. I'm a junior. All right, and you're officially? 16. So, in our family, you can start dating when you turn 16. Haven't had a first date yet, right? Nope. But, I don't know. Are you going to ask a girl out? I don't know. <laughs> All right. You want to show us your bike? Sure. All right. All right. Jackson built a bike, like, from the ground up. So, tell us about what you did. I bought the frame in late July. Worked my butt off to get all the other parts. Um, he has some awesome uh, mentors uh, too that helped him out. Um, had parts donated. Shout out to Mickey and everyone at Go Ride and Tom Gear for helping me put this together. It weighs 23 pounds. Pretty decent for an all aluminum bike. Um, I love this thing. It's awesome. Thank you for my parents for supporting me in it. Awesome. Well, we were excited to watch him build it, and it's been fun. He's loved it. Okay, good update. Thanks, Jackson. You can tell he's very passionate about biking. That is one thing he'll open up and talk your ear off about. Girls, not so much. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us at Nothing But Real Life. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and share with your friends.